Good afternoon, everyone. Welcome back to my garage. So for those of you that stop in occasionally, you'll notice the room has changed once again. Uh, I, I watched a video about a week ago. Uh, Projects in Paradise had a friend that had issues with his Battleborn batteries. They started a fire. That really got me thinking. Uh, actually, it made me nervous and got me thinking a lot, uh, seeing as how all of this setup here is actually located below my living space. A fire would not be not be a good deal here. Uh, so after watching that video, it really bothered me for a couple days, and then I decided to do something about it. Now, I had a commenter probably two months ago, three months ago, say something about the risk of fire, and uh, I told him to stay tuned, and here we are. This is where we're at. Uh, this is what I've done to mitigate fire, uh, the risk of fire here. Um, I, I bought cement board because I know cement doesn't burn. It's behind the Durock behind, and then there is also cement board underneath the batteries there. Uh, I also have uh, a pair of fire extinguishers and a fire blanket. Um, from what I am to understand, the lithium ion batteries are a chemical slash liquid fire, uh, and it takes a B A B C fire extinguisher uh, to put them out. And they say class B fire extinguishers what you really want to use. Uh, so those are easy to come by. I grabbed a couple of those and uh, a fire blanket. Uh, so in the event that the fire extinguishers aren't cutting the mustard, you can always throw a fire blanket over something. Uh, even a liquid fire, it works out pretty good for that. So uh, when building your system, you might want to take a minute and consider <laughs> what to do in case there's a fire. Uh, that's why uh, I've made my changes here. Made me a little bit nervous, so... Let's have a look at what's going on out there today. The sun is shining. Uh, it's beautiful out, actually. Uh, we're kicking down 26.4 out there. And this system is kicking out 13.2. Oh, a little cloud action there for a second. Now, the 20 amp system is currently pu pulling 3.44 amps. That is from a Stanley here, which is a 2 amp charger. And it's charging this battery down here that runs that single light there in case there's a power outage. I come down here and I flip that switch and I have lights in the battery room. Uh, but I left the lights on last night, so I figured I'd charge up that battery a little bit. And as you can see, that's a 2 amp charger and it's drawing 3.44, 3.45. Now, the real expensive Victron here has a feature where it can charge at 2 amps. And guess what? The real expensive Victron takes 4.1 amps to charge at 2 amps. Go figure, right? The cheapo Stanley is more efficient than the expensive Victron. Uh, let's have a look at the outside system here. Uh, the TV is on in the doggy daycare area at the moment, uh, including all the regular load, but that's where we're at. We're pulling some off of this one, too. We're going to start racking up the kilowatts. Well, that's it, everybody. Um... When you're putting together your system, it might not hurt to consider fire uh, and put things together appropriately. Uh, I, I personally like the idea of cement board because I know cement won't burn. Uh, I don't know. You, you should probably prepare in your own way. Um, I also did add, uh, and I think you should too, it'd be wise, uh, right above the system is a smoke detector. Uh, my smoke detector is actually hooked into my Simply Safe security system, so I'll get notifications in the event that there actually is an issue right here with this system. Now, I have a different smoke detector here in the garage, but it's a pretty good ways away from the system. Uh, I wanted one right there on top of things, so in the event something bad happens, I get a notification right away. So, uh, you should probably do the same. That's it, everybody. Um, hey, have a good day and a better tomorrow, and like and subscribe on your way out the door, will you? Please and thank you. See you.